I'm sorry guys, this lighting is horrible. It's like blue light right now and it's making me look absolutely horrendous and I don't have any makeup on right now at all. And I don't have, I mean, I have like an overhead light, but it's gonna cast a shadow and it's like, forget all that. Anyways, um, tonight's dinner is basically leftovers. So I got some macaroni and cheese. It was like a special macaroni and cheese I had ordered for lunch. It's got chicken in it, steak, spinach, feta cheese, and then the regular just macaroni and cheese. Everybody knows what macaroni and cheese is. And then I'm having a, um, it's called, a, it's from Target. It's their Good and Gather, but it's blackberry, mandarin, sparkling water. So I got that for a drink. Mm. I got a haircut today. Getting ready for summer. I'm not gonna lie. I had a mini anxiety attack when I was in the chair. Um. I've not had this short of hair since late to 2018, early 2019. I'm not going to lie. It's really getting hard to get adjusted to. And I know I just got it. I got it done today. But um, my ends on my hair. Like my hair was literally right here. It was like right at my collarbone. And from here down, it was completely fried. It was completely like just completely wavy. I woke up this morning. I was getting ready for the day. And I couldn't even get my hair in a bun. Like, my hair would, like, go up, but then it would just completely just, like, get caught in the hair tie, and I couldn't get it out. And I'm like, dude, my hair is not healthy anymore at all. I got to do something about this. Um, and so I ended up going to my hair salon today, and I had him chop it off. To be honest, I don't really care because this is short, but not as short as I've gone in the past. I've actually had a pixie cut and that was extremely short. I mean, but this is like if she would have went a couple of inches more, it would have been a pixie cut. But I can't, I can't put this in a ponytail. Like, if I do, it just, it just falls right back out. So, the only thing I can do is put it in a top knot. But I don't even know how to do that, and I'm not really good at it. So, she did do, like, a side part on my hair, which I don't really know why she did that. I didn't quite like that. Um, she seemed like she was kind of in a hurry today. She seemed like she was kind of preoccupied. She's... My hairstylist is a really good hairstylist. She does a really good job. And I use, you know, I usually don't have any problems with her at all. Um, I only get my hair cut like every three or four months. I don't, I don't know back. Like I'll, this will probably won't get, my hair probably won't get cut again until the snow will be falling. It'll be cold outside. So my hair will be right back down to here again. But starting now, until the end of this year, I'm taking a hair coloring break. She looked at me today. And she said, "Stay away from the lightener." 
and basically stay away from the bleach. My hair was that bad, you guys. Like, but I don't like. Okay, here's the thing with blonde hair, and that's why I'm saying that blonde hair is very finicky. It's also very dangerous. It's a very hard hair color to get. And it's also a very hard color to maintain. Your roots will grow back like fast. Like they'll grow back like super fast. You're constantly having to touch them up all the time. And then when you're not doing that, you have to constantly tone your hair. Toner is damaging. I don't care what people say. Toner is damaging. If you're using it more than once a week, your hair is going to get damaged. I know from past experience. I have used toner before and it's done more damage than actually bleaching my hair or whatever. Um, she did recommend that I go to a more neutral tone. She said that she recommends me going to like a like a copperous red or something like that. She wants me to take it down a couple of notches um, just for the benefit of the health of my hair. I'm kind of on the fence about it. I'm not really sure. I heard it kind of reminds me of like Drew Barrymore, like 1999 scream era. Like, I mean, she's on the phone. But all that's missing is the bangs right here. That would be the Drew Barrymore. But, um,. I'm not gonna lie, it's a huge change for me because I'm so boring. Like, I don't do anything to my hair. Like, I haven't done anything drastic to my hair. Okay, I lied. I did two months ago. I tried dyeing my hair red. It was a complete failure. It turned way too pinkish red and the tone was completely off. Um, it did not look good. I was working in housekeeping at that time and I was at work and like all my coworkers were just like, they're like, it's a pretty color. They're like, and it turned out good. They're like, but the tone on you, they're like, it's just not your tone. They're like, you need to find more, maybe like a warmer red. The only colors that look good on me are black, auburn red, Like a, um, like a honey blonde. I don't think platinum looks good on me anymore. Um, I think platinum is starting to become kind of like dated for me because I'm starting to get older and I'm getting like dark circles under my eyes and fine lines and wrinkles. And I think it's just starting to look, make me look older. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, I really don't. I might not do anything. I might just say screw it and just let my natural hair go back. I noticed something today that's been really weird. Um, All the places that I went to today... So there, I went to the hair salon today, and I'm going to a dollar store today. I went to, I can't remember where else, but every single place I've gone to today, whether it be a store or whatever, all have price increase. They all have signs on their doors, their signs on walls about them raising the prices on their products. I'm like, what in God's green earth is going on here? And then my stylist, as I was getting ready to leave, she was like, because we were setting up my next appointment. And she said, just make sure that like, if you change your mind or if you need to cancel, like give us well in advance notice. 
And I was like, oh, okay. You know, she goes, yeah, because we're going to start charging people for canceled appointments. 50 per, you have to basically like, if you miss an appointment with them, the next time you try to make an appointment with them, you have to put down 50% <laughs> of that appointment before you get a haircut. 50%. So if you had a $100 haircut, you had to put on $50 in order just to make the appointment. Like you're not getting any service yet, but, and then they also raised the prices on all of their stuff, hair coloring, cuts, all of it. I'm like, okay. So then I went to a dollar store. I'm standing there looking at all the new nails that they got. One of the employees is standing next to me with a pricing gun, raising the prices on all the, the stuff on the little tags. They're going from a dollar thirty to three twenty five. I'm like, what? Oh. They're going out of business. They're supposed to be going out of business, but they're trying not to. I think they're trying to save their butts. It's a family dollar. So I'm sorry, but I just don't agree with raising the prices that high. A dollar thirty to three twenty five. So, that was weird. Everything's being raised this year. I noticed it's a theme for 2024. I can't believe the year's already almost half over. Like, next year, next month will be five months. And then we'll be halfway of the year. Like, I'm not gonna lie though, 2024 has not been a kind year for anybody. It's it's been a pretty hard year. For me, it's been very um like a roller coaster. It's been a very emotional. A lot of uh, financial problems, a lot of uh, emotional problems, mental health issues in my family. Um. A lot of losses this year so far. A lot of changes. So many changes that I got 2023 was bad with the changes. Mm -mm. 2024 came in like, boom. I mean, it's been, today was another change. Like this was hard for me. Um, and then I recently just lost my truck. Um, like just like things that I don't like to do or I don't want are being forced upon me. Like these things are, and they say that change is going to happen whether you like it or not. They always say change will happen whether you like it or not. It, you, it doesn't matter how you feel because the thing is is that change is a part of growth and without change there would be no there would be no growth in anything um but for a person like me for a person that has OCD um I struggle with it really bad I have a really hard time with it it, it affects me in a lot of different areas 
I keep messing with my hair because I'm just not used to this. Um, it affects me in a lot of different areas. And, but the thing I have to keep telling myself is that it's going to happen whether you like it or not. And, but the thing is, sometimes change is for the better. It's for, it's beneficial. It has like good things behind it. And, um, but we can't always see it when we're going through it because we're constantly, consistently thinking about how uncomfortable it is. And then later on down the road, we're like, okay, now it makes sense, you know, but My boys are having peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for lunch. I ate leftover, or for dinner, I ate leftover lunch for dinner. It's a lazy, lazy night. I don't feel like cooking. My husband is at the grocery store. He's getting groceries and he's about to be home here pretty quick and I had to put them all away. So, peace out. Hope to speak to y'all again soon. Hopefully my next video will look better. And um, maybe I'll try to figure out how to style this for the next video or something because... I don't know how to do anything with this. <laughs> Peace out.